Hello everyone. Welcome to Math Corner. In this video, we will find the equation of a line given two points. Given the two points x sub 1, y sub 1 and x sub 2, y sub 2 on a line, the equation of the line is given by y minus y sub 1 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times quantity x minus x sub 1. This is called the two-point form of the equation of the line. Let us have some examples. Let us find the equation of the line passing these two points, negative 1, 5, and 1, negative 3. Let us consider negative 1, 5 as x sub 1, y sub 1, and 1, negative 3 as x sub 2, y sub 2. Let us substitute the given values in the two-point form. y minus y sub 1 becomes y minus 5 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 becomes negative 3 minus 5 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 becomes 1 minus negative 1 times quantity x minus x sub 1 becomes x minus negative 1. Let us simplify. We have y minus 5 equals negative 3 minus 5 equals negative 8 over 1 minus negative 1 becomes positive 2 times quantity x minus negative 1 becomes x plus 1. Since negative 8 over 2 is equal to negative 4, then we have y minus 5 equals negative 4 times quantity x plus 1. Next, we have negative 4 multiplied by x plus 1 equals negative 4x minus 4. Then we have y minus 5 equals negative 4x minus 4. Let us add positive 5 on both sides of the equation. Since negative 5 plus 5 is equal to 0, then we have y equals negative 4x plus 1. This is the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. Let us express y equals negative 4x plus 1 in standard form. Let us add positive 4x on both sides of the equation. Since negative 4x plus 4x is equal to 0, then we have 4x plus y equals 1. And this is the equation of the line passing through the points negative 1, 5, and 1, negative 3 in standard form. Example number 2. Let us find the equation of the line passing through the points 4, 1, and negative 5, negative 4. Let us consider 4, 1 as x sub 1, y sub 1, and negative 5, negative 4 as x sub 2, y sub 2. Let us substitute these given values in the two-point form of the equation of the line. Y minus Y sub 1 becomes Y minus 1 equals Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 becomes negative 4 minus 1 over X sub 2 minus X sub 1 becomes negative 5 minus 4 times quantity X minus X sub 1 becomes X minus 4. Let us simplify. We have Y minus 1 equals negative 4 minus 1 equals negative 5 over negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9 times quantity x minus 4. Since we have negative 5 over negative 9 which is a fraction, let us multiply both sides of the equation by negative 9. We have negative 9 multiplied by y minus 1 which is equal to negative 9y plus 9 equals 
negative 9 multiplied by negative 5 over negative 9 times quantity x minus 4. Cancel out negative 9 and we have negative 5 times quantity x minus 4. Since negative 5 multiplied by x minus 4 is equal to negative 5x plus 20, then we have negative 9y plus 9 equals negative 5x plus 20. Next, let us isolate the constant term on the right side of the equation. Let us add positive 5x on both sides and let us add negative 9 on both sides. Since 9 plus negative 9 is equal to 0 and negative 5x plus 5x is equal to 0, then we have 5x minus 9y equals 11. And this is the equation of the line passing through the points 4, 1 and negative 5, negative 4. Last example, let us find the equation of the line passing through the points 0, 4 and negative 5, 7. Let us consider 0, 4 as x sub 1, y sub 1 and negative 5, 7 as x sub 2, y sub 2. Let us substitute these given values in the two-point form y minus y sub 1 becomes y minus 4 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 becomes 7 minus 4 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 becomes negative 5 minus 0 times quantity x minus x sub 1 becomes quantity x minus 0. Let us simplify. We have y minus 4 equals 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 over negative 5 minus 0 is equal to negative 5 times quantity x minus 0 is equal to x. Since 3 over negative 5 is a fraction, let us multiply both sides of the equation by negative 5. Negative 5 multiplied by y minus 4 equals negative 5y plus 20 equals negative 5 multiplied by 3 over negative 5x cancel out negative 5 and we have 3 times x. Since 3 times x is equal to 3x then we have negative 5y plus 20 equals 3x. Next, let us use addition property of equality or let us transpose 3x on the left side and transpose 20 on the right side. And we have negative 3x minus 5y equals negative 20. To make the leading coefficient positive, let us multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. Negative 1 multiplied by negative 3x minus 5y equals 3x plus 5y equals negative 20 times negative 1 is equal to positive 20. And this is the equation of the line passing through the points 0, 4 and negative 5, 7. And that is how to find the equation of a line given two points. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.